Hi, Kyle Barton here with BB Custom Tools. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about this half inch coupler. This half inch coupler is sold uh, with a number of our drilling guides. It uh, has this half inch linear shaft, that's an actual drill extension, if you will. And uh, to connect the uh, bits to this extension, we use this half inch coupler. Now there are, of course, half inch shanked bits that we sell that work perfectly in this coupler, but you're not limited to that. You can also use uh, accessories such as this reamer that has a 5 16 inch hex shank, or this Woodall drill bit. Again, it has a 7 16 inch hex shank. Then you can also use bits that have a 3 8 inch shank, like this particular drill bit here, or even the Lee Valley reamer, which has a 5 16 inch hex shank. And believe it or not, you can also use quarter inch hex shanks, all within this half inch coupler. So stay tuned and I'll show you how all this works. Now before I get started, I wanna let you know that all the bushings, including these uh, drill bit extensions, are gonna be for sale on our website the bbcustomtools.com. Now, if you would like to buy these components yourself, uh, some of the bushings I'm gonna go over do require some modification. I'll be happy to tell you how to modify those bushings. Uh, just DM me on Instagram and I'll be happy to give you the sources for everything I'm gonna go over. But like I said, if you want the convenience of having everything done and it's just plug and play, then go to our website and you can purchase everything I'm gonna show you. All right, let's first talk about the drill extension. Now the drill extension is made up of this linear shaft. Um, it is made up of 1566 carbon steel. It has a hardness of C60 on the Rockwell scale, and it has a tolerance as far as straightness of 0 0.002, so two thousandths of an inch. Now it's mated to this half inch coupler, and this coupler is basically an inch and a quarter inches long, so um, basically the shaft extends in here three-eighths of an inch and that has two set screws. These set screws are about three-eighths of an inch from each end and they actually um, hold on to the bit and this one holds on of course to the shaft. Now one of the things um, I've done, I've, uh, this secures real well to shaft and bits but I have noticed if I am doing some reaming and I'll show you how you can attach reamers to uh, this particular uh, coupler, when I'm doing reaming, um, this can sometimes slip. Not often, but sometimes. So what I have done is um, I started grinding a little flat onto the shafts. And this flat is basically 5 eighths of an inch long and about 3 sixteenths of an inch wide. And um, I've done this on uh, this particular shaft here. And I've also done this on some of the uh, bits I use. This is an old uh, bit I've had for a number of years and I think hopefully you can see here that the little set screw has created little uh, divots in here and raised a little burr. I've had to sand those back so I finally got tired of that and actually ground it flat in there to capture the set screw. And um, basically this will still work in your drill bit. You just have to make sure that uh, it's no wider than a quarter of an inch and that way you're, when you put it into a drill chuck the jaws can clamp down on it without clamping down on this flat. If they clamp down on this flat the bit won't run true. So um, we're going to offer that as a machining service so if you want this flat ground onto your bits or your shafts we'll be happy to do that for you. If you want to grind these uh, flats yourself it's very simple to do. Uh, in fact, I have a video that I uh, kind of went through the entire process, but basically it, it in, involves this little gauge block here. So this is just a little block that I've drilled a half inch hole through, then cut a bandsaw uh, kerf into here and put a screw in so this will act as a clamp against the bit or shaft. And uh, then I relieved half of the hole here. and. Uh, that way you can go ahead. And now this is a little bit chewed up here. It's because I've actually uh, switched grinding wheels I was using. So um, that got kind of uh, modified a bit, we might say. But all you have to do then is insert your bit or shaft. 
I'm inserting this bit here and then clamp it down here and you'll be able to run this into the grinding wheel and uh, grind that little flat. Now you want to put a straight edge on your um, grinding platform so that you can you know make sure that this is all straight and just go in real easy and gentle until you have that flat there that I said is about 3 sixteenths of an inch wide but no wider than a quarter of an inch. Alright well now let's move on to um, what types of bits you can actually fit into this half inch uh, coupler here. So first off, of course, you can fit in your half inch shanked bits. That's not a problem. That works for it very well. Um, the other thing you can do without any adjustments is use 7 16 inch hex shank bits. So this is a, a wood owl bit that has that 7 16 inch hex shank. And you can simply Tighten that up in there, and you're good to go. Let me show you how well that runs. Now, you can also utilize uh, this all metal reamer. Now, this reamer, I have uh, a couple of videos about it. It is made by my buddy Sean Murphy and it's an all metal six degree reamer. He also sells a 11 degree reamer and both of them have this uh, 7 16 inch hex shank. And again, that fits perfectly right in the coupler like this. And uh, it runs extremely true. All right, now let's talk about what you can do with this bushing here. Now this bushing is a 3 8 inch to half inch bushing. So the inside diameter is 3 8 of an inch and the outside diameter is a half inch. It also has this convenient hole in it and that will allow the set screw to go through and um, then rest against the bit, securing it into the coupler. Um, this is actually a little longer. I actually have to cut this down and file it down a little bit to make sure that this hole is centered right there on the set screw. And uh, the way it works is it just fits right in like this. And then you can use 3 8 inch shanked bits. So they just go in just like this. And they run very nice and true. But that's not all you can do with this 3 8 to half inch bushing. You can also utilize 5 16 inch hex shanks. Now, this is the Lee Valley reamer, and this is 5 16 inch hex shank, and it will fit right in here. And we secure that down. And then you can now ream with the Lee Valley reamer. I believe it's 12.8 degree reamer. I believe that's what it is. So those are just some of the things you can do with the 3 8 inch bushing. And uh, the way you remove it, let's go ahead and back your set screw out. Then take the end of your Allen key and just grab right there where that hole is and it comes right out. Okay, next up is this quarter inch hex extender. This is a um, little bushing that's made to join two quarter inch hex rods together. And it has uh, two set screws here to, uh, to secure the rod, or in our case, the quarter inch bit fits right in there. Now the great thing about this is the outside diameter of this thing is a half inch so it will fit inside the half inch coupler. Now I have uh, put a flat on the on these because this is kind of mild steel and that set screw will definitely raise a burr on there and you have to file these set screws down just a bit to make sure that they don't interfere. So once the uh, bit is secured into the hex extender Go ahead and insert that in here. 
tighten it up and you are now ready to go. And we'll show you how nice and true this runs. As I said, we will have all of these items at our website for sale. That includes the drill extension, the quarter inch hex bushing, and the 3 8 inch to half inch bushing. So, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.